Um, vaccine mandates, we know the government isn't going to do vaccine mandates, but um, are you going to attempt to create the conditions to allow um, private businesses and other entities to do vaccine mandates? Um, is, is that sort of the next phase of what the, of what the federal response can do? Absolutely, Chuck. As you know, and I've said it several times on your show, that you're not going to see a federally from the federal government mandating vaccines for the country. But I'll, I, I'm almost certain, in fact, I am certain, that as soon as the FDA fully approves the vaccines that are now and, and under emergency that? use I don't mean to interrupt, but when is that? You, you know, Chuck, I, no one wants to get ahead of the FDA because they're an independent group that makes their, their, their decisions. And that's good in many respects because there will never be any concern that we're influencing them. But I hope, I hope, I don't predict, but I hope that it will be within the next few weeks. I hope it's within the month okay. of August. If that's the case, you're, you're going to see the empowerment of local enterprises giving mandates. That could be colleges, universities places of business, a whole variety. And I strongly support that. The time has come is we've got to go the extra step to get people vaccinated. You want to persuade them, that's good. And I believe that some people on their own, once it gets approved as a full approval, yeah. will go ahead and get vaccinated. But for those who do not want, I believe mandates at the local level right. need to be done. Should there be a vaccine mandate for all health care workers? I, I have to tell you, it seems almost irrational that we don't have a vaccine mandate right. in senior homes. OK, the idea that that isn't there. Right. Uh, right. And I understand what you said. And, and there's some talk of using sort of a, a federal funds to almost coerce uh, some of these uh, folks. But, you know, you're a leading person in the medical community. Can you imagine having anybody that works in the medical community refusing the vaccine? You know, that's it happens. But that is that is amazing. It's just it's inexplicable to me. You are a healthcare worker. Your profession, the thing you've devoted your life to is to protect people, to make them well, to protect them from disease. But but Chuck, this is not something that's new. I mean, I see patients at the NIH Clinical Center. If I don't get flu vaccine or hepatitis vaccine, I'm not allowed to see patients. So this isn't something that's brand new with COVID. So I'm very much in favor of mandating, if you wanna see patients and you wanna participate in healthcare, you need to get vaccinated, period. Hey guys, this is Eugene here. Hope you're having a blessed day in the Lord today. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you like to keep up with end time news and current events. This is a executive order by Bill Lee, Governor Bill Lee, uh, for the state of Tennessee, authorizing the use of National Guard and internment temporary facilities for the unveed. They can come get you now and put you in there. Guys, I'll leave a link to it. I love each and every one of you. Please share this with everyone that you know. Let them know that uh, this is on the way and it may be starting in other states as well. I love each and every one of you, brothers and sisters. Eugene out.